guys, how are we? Hope you're well. Welcome to Kitchen here. Inspire YG is the platform. So if you're popping in here for the first time, um, like I said, my name is, my name is Akonsa Kijo and uh, this platform I started it a couple of years ago with an aim of um, sharing my journey as an international student. I moved to Australia um, in 2013 and I was an international student for many years so uh, you know I learned a lot of things in that period and, um, and those experiences and that journey is what I share. Um, I like to say that um just an ordinary girl <laughs> girl next door who's had some extraordinary experiences so yeah stay tuned uh for another topic today i am going to be talking about scholarships so today i'm talking about scholarships uh i've had a lot of dms of people asking me to talk about my journey with scholarships whether i came to australia on a scholarship um or how i got the scholarships i got i did get um i can't quite remember how many scholarships but i know they you know i calculated i calculated a couple of uh months ago and i knew that it equated equated to approximately 15 to twenty thousand australian dollars um in scholarship and sponsorships so I normally say that I did not come to Australia on a scholarship, so I really don't know how you apply for a scholarship from back home. For example, I am from Kenya. I don't know how you apply for a scholarship to come to Australia from Kenya, but the scholarships I'm talking about are the ones that you get when you have now uh, started uni. So you, you come to know about them maybe in your first or second semester. So, um, I will do another video where I will talk about all the scholarships I got and how I got them. But, uh, no, all the scholarships I got and, and where you apply. But on this video today, I'm going to talk about how you actually get the scholarships. Uh, one way, uh, or at least one way, uh, I, how, one way I followed to get scholarships. <laughs> um, Anyway, so there's something called expression of interest and uh, so majority of the scholarships that were at uni, you were being asked to apply by writing an expression of interest. Sort of saying, it's almost like an expression of interest puts you um, on, like an, on like a competitive edge with the other people who are applying for that particular, for that same scholarship. So, for example, some of the things you mention, um, or you know, are your interests. So, why are you interested in applying for that scholarship? So, you you're probably going to say, I'm interested in this scholarship because, um, you know, I want to travel to a new place. I want to uh, save some money. I want to support my parents in funding for my fees, my tuition. That's just an example, right? But what I learned. What I learned about applying for scholarship is that you've got to be authentic. So be honest as much as you can and be authentic. Um, and what I mean by that is whatever situation is happening, for example, um, you know, you could you could be, you maybe by the time you're coming, you're traveling for studies, you're okay financially, you knew that you could organize yourself or you could plan yourself or your family were able to sort of organize for your tuition fee but then along the line something happens and uh and then you're not able to meet those expectations or you know those requirements so you talk about that don't be don't feel ashamed don't feel like oh what are they going to think about they don't know you anyway <laughs> they might not not even know you even after giving you the scholarship so um be authentic just say the re the reason why you're applying for that scholarship and and it's going to and it, you can tell by reading you can tell whether that expression of interest is authentic or it's actually not second mention your dreams and uh, desires that are linked to that scholarship so for example when i was applying for a scholarship uh, to go to rome for a program that was part of the uh, part of the unit that i was studying at uni I had always had a desire to travel to Italy 
now there's so many reasons that maybe i have always i, I had for wanting to travel but one of those reasons was um that i stated from what i remember from memory i remember talking about my love for culture uh heritage buildings you know buildings with history or a story um i have always wanted to go to the vatican i always wanted to visit st peter's square i think i've done a video before where i talked about dreams i had being on st peter's square way before i got that scholarship um and so i wrote all those things in that expression of interest so yeah like i say so one of the points is to just mention your dreams and desires that are linked to that uh, scholarship for example like i said you can talk about how you're passionate about learning um, about other people's cultures and uh, wanting to meet new people which is pretty much what i wanted i felt like coming to australia one of the the things that i loved a lot is meeting people from diverse backgrounds learning about their culture their countries and um everything else that i didn't know because i didn't study history in school so i mentioned that i mentioned that i was taking that opportunity not just to study that one unit but also to learn about the culture and, and the way of life of italy um i also mentioned that you know i'm born and uh, and bred in a, in a staunch Catholic family and so you know growing up or I had or I knew about family members who had gone to the Vatican and worked there so I've always had that dream and desire to visit the country and especially, especially the Vatican City itself and so I mentioned all those things in that expression of interest um, the other thing I said at that point was share stories so reminiscing your childhood and so i mentioned about how when i was a child you know i had an uncle who had gone to the vatican and that worked and lived there and uh, when he came back the stories he would give us about italy and how well he spoke the italian language and i just was always fascinated as a child and i talked about that in my expression of interest that i i wanted to actually reconnect the memories my childhood memories and sort of relive them in in reality and um so yeah that's something that you can do it and do it in a way it doesn't feel like you're it's fabricated do it like you're sharing a story and actually i wrote my expression of interest like i'm sharing a story of um how exciting it's gonna be and i'm talking about and i'm writing it like i'm already living the experience so making the the um the reader of that expression of interest to actually feel how excited and thrilled you will be when you get that opportunity right um and the fourth one and probably this is the last one uh state how the scholarship will change your life so for example um there are a couple of reasons why people apply for scholarships and you know there are different types of scholarships and i said i would do another video where i will share different types of scholarships and the ones i had and the ones that were being offered at uni that i did not get or i did not apply but you know as an international student when you come especially to australia you always ask one one of the requirement to actually get a student visa is to prove that you uh to to give a bank statement proving that you are able to cater for your living expenses and your tuition fee and so you know you cannot just go out the back you know up front and just say look I'm, i i cannot pay my tuition fee because then how they're going to be breaching uh what the requirement or one of the requirement of getting a student visa so there has to be you have to have sort of a proof of why you actually need that scholarship how you think it's going to help you for example i remember mentioning that it would be lovely to know that i'm going to leave my parents because being the firstborn i didn't want to be the only person that the parent, my parents are help are supporting and i could not be so i felt like if i catered for like a semester if i catered for my own expenses and you know or even helped out with paying my tuition fee then they didn't have to worry about me it's one less child <laughs> to worry about and so i mentioned that i mentioned that i'm sure this was going to be a, a big relief for my parents and then they can focus on their other projects and their other children and so 
it can be that it can also be political instability there are people who come from countries where there is there is political instability there is war there's farming or there's natural calamities like earthquakes or or landslides or just any natural earthquakes so things like those like when you write them on the expression of interest it shows how authentic you are and trust you me there will be one person who will read it and they will connect to what you are going through or your experience and so yeah so just to wrap it up uh just mention oh some of the other things i mentioned were well, my love for traveling and obviously give an example that i traveled for 20 20 something hours <laughs> from kenya to uh, australia to to come and travel uh for my love for travel but also for studies but mainly for my love for travels and so i mentioned that on the expression of interest um the love of meeting new people learning from new cultures their way of life their way of being um learning how people perceive life differently because of where they have they have come from how how they've been brought up their religious backgrounds um their spiritual journey or their heritage and lineage and put all these things together but also also talk i talked about how i would love to share my experiences my my personal experiences with my friends from where i come from and encourage them to travel um and i mentioned all these in the expression of interest it doesn't have to be so long it can be you can you can write a long uh, a long draft and then you can sort of summarize it to just one page and so yeah guys that's how um just a, just um a small maybe my experience of how of, on how sorry on how I, I used to write or how i wrote my expression of interest at least for the scholarship to rome um yep so i hope this helps you if you're trying to apply for a scholarship um to travel to any country i i believe the standard or the foundation of writing one are all the same um you know just be as authentic as you can just be yourself people will fall in love with who you are when you're not trying to be anything else but yourself so i hope this helps and uh, if you have any more questions um on how to apply for a scholarship or um or my journey on applying for a scholarship just go on my dms uh um uh you can ask me there uh, i'm consecuja on on all the platforms so consecuja on instagram well inspire yg on all the platforms maybe <laughs> that's better inspire yg on uh facebook inspire yg on instagram just go there um um i'll write it probably here so that you can know where to find me and ask me any questions that you'd like and i wish you all the best as you apply for scholarships and i hope you get them because you can all right so thank you so much for popping in and uh, until the next one god bless you and bye